I'm now going to change this Euro cylinder without actually having the key. This actual lock is in the unlocked position, which does make it a little bit easier, but you can still do this if the door is in the locked position. I'm starting off by removing the two screws from the inside. That will enable me to remove the handle. I've now got a large pair of mole grips and I'm tightening the mole grips up as tight as I can get them. I'm now going to grab the mole grips and I'm going to give them a firm push and you can see that the Euro cylinder has snapped in half and that was very easy to do. There was not a great deal of force put on the mole grips. You can now see that I'm using the mole grips on the spindle of the door. That means that I can actually open the door. I've just actually put a, an Allen key in there just to show you what you would need to do if the door was in the locked position. You could push the Allen key in and you could turn the actual cam round which would unlock the door. Once you then push down on the mole grips, you can then open the door. This is the new Euro cylinder that we're going to be fitting. You will have noticed that it is slightly too long. It's probably 10 millimeters too long at the front and the back. This is only a temporary Euro cylinder until we can get another one. I've now pushed the Euro cylinder into position and I am now tightening the screw that retains the Euro cylinder in position. I'm now going to lift the handle, lock the door and you can see that that is now locked.